Turn that off because it's not necessary anymore. Of course it's not. And boom. That's going to be in the way if it's not out the way. That was good English, me. Well done. Let us go over to Grayson. Let's get Grayson next. And then we need to find out a way of doing the rat next after that. Which could be interesting. More stone. Gems. Always necessary. This was a stone I think I said I was going to forget about. And I didn't forget about it. Yay. <laughs> Just for once, eh? Onwards. Into the abyss. Oh, Grace, and you're here. I need fish bones. Hmm. Where would fish be? Anywhere in this area? Probably not that likely, hey? It'd be a shame if that's the one that we can't do in order, but... Them's the ways, them's the ways. Or maybe we'll have to go fishing. We will do that. Fishing. Obviously there's going to be some guys around. Ooh, and then we want those big percentages because they are very good. I might just pop Blood Rage and just tank some damage and then... That was just rude, wasn't it? Very rude, I say. But now we've got 93% blood. You always find one. that just has some insane blood pool on him. Now, what one good thing would be to do is not equip those because they're rubbish. Uh, bones and plant fiber. Oh dear. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any bones, so... That is a mighty shame. Also whetstone though, which is very good. Very good, sir. That's what I needed, wasn't it? Yay, good stuff. Can now move that over to there. And then we can do a nice little I'll heal up. should have me full health. through that guy. Awesome. Did not know that. Glass. <gasps> Already finding glass? That's impressive. Even though it's supposed to be quite a common object in the reef. And one fish bone. That'll help us out. See if there's any more fish bones over here or something. Yeah, mate. No fish bones. Oh. None. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well. I don't even know why they've got people in cages. Do they think they're vampires or something? Surely, right? Oh, my curiosity. I'm going to have to go and check if that's the right... Which heart is this... I need to know. Okay. Thank you for the tainted heart. My hammer is for steel, but I've got the tool for the job. You can't stop me, hammer. You are 
Let's get rid of these, because otherwise I'm just going to end up... He made a smiley face with them. That's kind of cute. Grayson, you are not very impressive, my boy. I'm going to get rid of you. I want to do it without, like, taking any proper health damage from, like, him. Or just, like, stay at full health. Ah, yes, please stand still, my friend. That does. It's insane. Aww. Oh, Whoops. Did not mean to instantly destroy him. And for some reason, you can sort of get off two attacks that do that sort of heal and crit damage. You won't give up, but you're dead, mate. You just you just died. I'm sorry. Sorry for your loss. Move on. Yes, please. I'll have all that. That. Thank you, though, Mr. Armourer Man. Take leather. That's fine. Okay, that's us done. actually contain stuff. Gotcha. But yes, off we go, off we go. No Tristan out here, no. Okie dokie. Sounds good. No. No sign of him. That's fine. Right, well, we are now level 30. And we have a decent blood pool at the moment. Until I do something stupid. <laughs> uh, besides that, we've then got a bear to fight. Which is going to be very tricky. We've also got a rat that we need to figure out how to... Get enough of the things we need. And maybe we do a bit of fishing. I think fishing should be next. We'll do it the normal way. Even though I have no clue how to fish in this game. At all. Oh, Brew of Ferocity. That's quite nice. But hey-ho, it's a start. We've got Grave Dust. One of these. We don't have that fish yet, though. But it's okay. And then we found more copper, so... Can never have too much copper. What do we need for this? We need an animal hide. Well, maybe I shouldn't be uh, instantly putting all of that in there, then that's silly. There we go. Right. We need horse thread, planks, and copper ingots. Well, we've definitely got the copper ingots. Let us just pinch these from here. Make a fishing pole. How interesting. There you go. We've now got a fishing pole that we should go and have have a test with. How massive it is. Oh yes, and this is probably going to decay. 16 minutes. How about one day, 400 hours? Yeah, something like that. There you go. That's plenty. Now we need to go find this fishing spot. Or basically go and check all the water areas. Nice waste of our 93% blood. But I'm not complaining. Because it's kind of funny. <laughs> that we're going to learn together how to do fishing. Because I don't have a clue. I just know you're supposed to wait for the little like bubble spot. To pop up in the water. Which there is none of here. Which is excellent. That's just more rocks. Okay, superb. <laughs> 
Maybe I'll teleport over to that other side. And I really hope it's not a daytime thing, because my daytimes are very small in this game now. Not to mention it's quite hard during the daytime to actually do that kind of thing. But let us go on more searches for more fishing spots. Well, if we could find some. Shame that... F I sw I'm, I'm sure that fishing in every single game that I know of is just not particularly of interest. Let's see, there's one. And then you're supposed to, when it sparkles, to pull it back up. So we'll watch. Wait for it to like pulse like that. And then we got one. Got a fat gobby. That's the thing I have. Right. So that works. It might be that it's a percentage chance. Or I was just doing it wrong. Anyway. Off we go to the logging camp, I would think, now. Because there's a large water source over there, so we'll see if we have any more luck. Because we need one of the purple fish. Alternatively, we could always upgrade our castle heart as well do things more in line with that and then get servants to go get it or something like that but it's okay let's go check the little logging camp and see if there's a good fish spot if not at the very least we've got some extra fish oil and fish bones to work with is always very useful I will admit they're very useful <laughs> to have here we are, coming up to the water over here. I should probably stay on the main road, even though things are going to shoot at me because they don't like me. Very rude. Where is... There no fish spot? I'm not convinced I'm seeing any. Maybe around the other side. Otherwise, maybe there just isn't. No, nope, I don't see anything there. I've never been up here before. Oh, there's a, there was actually a book. It's just you, sir. And now it is not you. Now it is just me. Yeah, I didn't know there was like an overhang up here. It's kind of cool. They're just a random... Oh, no, he's with, he's with a guy. That makes sense. Well, I don't see any fishing spots. That's a pretty big shame. The dog was tankier than he was, blimey. Rather impressive. But uh, yes, let us go back and see if we can potentially get servants to find us that instead. Oh, good old servants. I don't recall there being many um, fish opportunities in the starting area, so we might have to skip the rat for now and come back. Because we definitely get access to a decent amount of fish later on, but not yet. So let us come back to the putrid rat. We'll get you another day. 
There is still the bear, I suppose. We could always go and attempt the bear. It's going to be quite tricky being equal level with it because it is quite a challenging enemy. But let's go find the teleport gate and teleport back that way because I've gone too far now. Beautiful, I left a little gap for my castle. Good work. Stone golem there, which we could theoretically fight if we wanted some extra stones and materials. Gem dust and such. Or get it to mine stuff for us, of course. Ah, oh, the sun is not very nice. Then I suppose vampires don't like sun, so they would theoretically burn up instantly. Quite lucky that it doesn't instantly destroy me. Because it should. Right. Let us go over to the bear. Bear is down here, so... And there's no worry about trying to fight it during the day or anything, because it's in a cave. It's nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's see how far we go. Bandit camp, yep. More paper opportunities. How about some more bear opportunities? Oh. Well... Looks like I won't be able to get that fishing spot. Pity. The tree guardian of the fish. Tree guardian of the fish and sea. That's okay. Onwards. Right, well, the bear does lots of damage. I would have been pretty well off if I'd have brought a crossbow with me. However, no matter. That does 140%. That's not terrible. Hundred and ten percent. Well, let's try this because it's... 10 second cooldown? What about the bolts? Oh, 8 second cooldown. Okie dokie. About this one. 10 second cooldown. This. 8 second cooldown. What else we got for that? 9 second cooldown. 12 second cooldown, blimey. 12 second cooldown. Okie dokie. I think we know which we're going to go for then. We've got 7 and an 8 second cooldown. For both. Is nice. We've also got decent blood. And it's realistically a six second cooldown if I recall correctly because of the bud blood we've got at the moment. Yep. This could be tricky. Done a decent amount of damage already though. Uh, it's very difficult to get out of the way of it, though, hey? I guess this isn't really a fight for now, then. Not really a level 30 boss, is it? Hmm. Pity. Yeah, bye, mate. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Just made one of them. They're easy enough. <gasps> Boop. Interesting. Well, well, I suppose I did already know that. Some of the bosses' levels are quite deceiving. Especially when 10 levels down, you've got Kale, all of those guys, and then obviously three levels down, you've got Grayson, who is... I would, I would think he is the easiest boss in the whole game. Uh, for me personally. 
He's, he's a very, very easy boss. Okay, vermin salves actually give you quite a bit of health. Very impressive. <sighs> Spitty plant. Right, well, um, we're going to struggle to get the rat anyway because reasons. So, I guess we just move on. Someone like Clive next. I suppose I didn't make those upgraded gloves yet. That was a bit silly. Still got that to do. So let's go do that first. Hmm. I can't remember what the highest level was that I was at, though, when I attempted the bear. I think I was probably, like, 50 plus, and it was still hard. It's always tricky, because unless you have a shield, and I don't mean, like, Grayson's really long cooldown shield, I mean one of the shields that we'll see later on, then it, it's just going to be very difficult, very unlikely to actually beat it. Right. If I did the book, it should be in here. Yes. Lovely. Well, that will do for now, I guess. Oh, we did actually get a snapper. Oh, excellent. Well, we'll chuck that in there. We only need one of those, but we do need four fish bones, and we are only at two. If I put that one in. Excellent. Rude rubies. Do we have two of them? We have three of them, in fact. Interesting. Well, let's make copper axes and then uh, make some merciless copper axes and we'll use that as our level up tool. Thank you very much. They do look shiny. Hmm. Let's see... in much particular order, but at least that then filters out the inventory just a tad. Then obviously well, this is the wrong way round, so let's just flip it round. Then chuck those in there, because that's easy enough. Keep some rats on emergency. Let's go get Clive. Level 34, so that should be relatively easy, I would say. Clive is not the hardest boss in the game. He's frustrating to try and hit, but he's not that difficult. Thinking about what we could use on him, though, I think it's probably just a lot of offense. Maybe some blood rage if he stands still long enough. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe we'll use the axes as well. It's a, It's been a while since I've actually used the axes. And any, any good player would be versatile at knowing how to fight with any of the weapons. That would include, I suppose, swords and slashes and other such as well. Not just the OP scythe and mace. As good as the mace is. Increases movement speed and increases attack speed. Yeah. It's a really good. 8 second cooldown which isn't awful. There's some tankier chaps. Just you, sir. Oh, I thought they moved again. I was about to say. You can't move. You've been defeated. <laughs> as funny as that would be. What are you trying to attack, plant? 
be a crazy thing. Let's see how fast we can attack by doing this. Wow, that is pretty quick. Oh, I got stuck in a tree. Whoa, that is some speed. <laughs> oh, we don't need reinforce. That's rubbish. I hit the box. That's not very clever. Ah, oh, you perished. Nice. Damage, damage. Another one bats the dust. <laughs> more boxes, more threads, more hides, more everything. This will be the, probably the last fight we get to use the insane blood we've got. Hi there, chap. That's you finished off. I mean, I can hit him a bunch at the first part because he doesn't dash, I guess. But then as we get uh, a bit further in, he seems to like to dash a bit more. Wait for that to expire. Just poke him a bit. Keep the speed of the attacks going. And we can dash out last second. Hit a box for like 400 damage, the usual, you know. Let me move out of the way of that. It does kind of let us close the distance quite accurately though, which is nice. Just a shame that he can't hurt himself in his own little bombs. He's he's a bomb immune, I guess. End of your wick. Are you a candle, sir? Or are you John Wick? Either or. We just got Merciless Crossbow. That is nice. Yeah, you get to attack really quick with that. That's great. Yum. Blimey. You're an 81%er though. No wonder you're hitting so hard. I will gobble that all up, please. And then use a tiny bit of it just to heal. Because it ain't no brute blood or anything. It does attack decently quick, but... There's no denying that a mace is just better for the job. Now we're in the explosive territory, which is excellent. Truly excellent. We've also now got access to arguably the best dash in the game. And it's only one extra second. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the C button does. Oh well. Some you lose some, I guess. Because you don't even need to heal. 
and just chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 and then smash, smash, smash. That's that's all it takes in this game. Chopping and smashing. And get, hopefully, all of this by the time they want to engage in a fight. Nice. And that, I suppose the axe is very accurate at closing the distance, which is nice. There you go. Off we go again. We just got away with Moida. Oh, look, more things. Oh, well. Moida. Moida away. <laughs> Been great fun. <laughs> Back to our costly. Back to Castle Ohartus. Kill things in the way because it's satisfying. And then Bob's your own clay. going to ignore them. <laughs> I'll kill what I want to kill. Nope. <laughs> Hopefully we've got the appropriate gems and such, but that was Clive. We'll have to come back to the rat by the seams of things. We've got no way of actually like killing it at the moment. Of course, merciless stuff would help us against good old Barry, but what else would help us is some form of shield. That's not that Crimson Aegis shield. Because, uh... It's okay. <laughs> but only okay. Nothing more than that. Just okay. It's excellent when you have teammates. But we do not have any teammates today. Maybe in the future. Oh look, hey Lydia. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. No. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very funny to revisit past bosses that you just end up crushing. Sortman vases. You gave me some vases, Lydia. Oh, how fancy. Oh, oh, oh Francais. Oh, thank you kindly. I'll be on my way, though. Back into my castle. Eh? And probably just for another hour and a half to not... Well, not where well, I say hour. I don't mean an actual hour. We will just have the... Sun blocker. I wonder if they'll ever make something like a mist brazer portable or something. That'd be quite funny. Right, we've got the research desk, we've got the merciless crossbow, we've also got those vazars. That's pretty cool. Gem gems, whetstone, leather, there's no actual, like, ore. This is cool. Even though it's clearly cl cop cl cl copper. copper. There we go, there's one greater blood essence. Nice, we're definitely already making sulfur. 12 seconds, hmm. Maybe we want to make another one then. Just to make it a bit easier on us. Let's get some more stone, we'll get some more copper, and we'll make one more furnace just to speed up the whole 
sulfur situation. We're going to do loads of damage now because, uh, well, yes, you know, we have merciless copper stuff. Where am I? Where am I? Who knows? You don't know. Neither does your buddy. And on I go. Into the copper mine. See, even these guys who are level 20 get absolutely melted. Nice and quick. Gatherment. Gatherment? Gathering. <laughs> some speed. Uh, I'm doing this, but we only need a little bit. There we go. I'll do. <laughs> That'll definitely do now. Off we go. Oh, skeletons have invaded. Shh. Shh, don't tell her. Don't tell any of them. It wasn't us. We didn't we didn't unleash skeletons. That's not what we do. Ah yes, I need some more stone. Five, ten it's, I don't really know what's quicker. Honestly, think they're about the same. Especially if I use both abilities in unison. I do like the axes; they're very fun. Boom! 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 I can definitely use them to gather some more lumbois. do more combos then that was impressive Oop. that'll do I think a load more stone let's make another one of these bad boys real quick I mean we have sped through it so not doing too badly 16 and we only needed 10 <laughs> ah we still need more planks though find these up against the in the middle of the table oh we can use fish bones for that too interesting but we need whetstone sulfur more planks Well, there is more planks. Just enough, actually. There's enough sulfur. Make a bomb. Because the next port of call is to uh, progress for the iron. However, before we take that... Do I feel comfortable? Probably not. We'll go back with iron gear, I think. So let's let's go beat up Quincy. Quincy is over here. So it's going to be a little bit of a walk. But while we're walking, we can discuss some things. Like these skeletons attacking each other. And trying to attack me for some peculiar reason. No, oh, so what we can talk about... Hmm. We still haven't done the expanding the domain, so... Yes, axes. That's actually a good point. Weapons. One thing that would be nice to be changed is the crossbows. Now, I understand 
ranged weapons and PvP don't get on very well because they are considered broken. Melee weapons can be good, but if ranged weapons exist, you've just got more range, haven't you? It makes sense. You can fight people at point blank or super far away. Now, the crossbow, though, takes so long to prime and fire. It's the same with the shadow bolt. It's not the best ability because you spend so long priming it that you've probably been hit by that point. And if the hit's enough to do a significant chunk of your HP pool, then what you're left with is a very unhappy person. And you don't want a happy, unhappy person. Also, we're here. So that says it takes one second. I'm not convinced it does. There you go, that's all that gone. Let's go and get ourselves a Quincy. We're only four levels down on him, so... I'm more than happy to go and attack with the 81% blood that we have anyway. some more glass, we take that. There are lots of enemies here which I suppose I could take some time actually attacking. Oh, it's a frenzy! The big frenzy! Oh, I didn't let me dash again. Oh well. Beat them all. Got them all. And look at the spoils of war. Bunch of hearts and other stuff. Now, Quincy, I know we will be able to beat as long as we don't get hit by him too many times, which. His attacks are not like the bear, so I don't see us having too much of an issue, to be completely honest. Just make a couple of vermin salves, we'll get topped off really quickly. <laughs> Yoink. See, that, that is not a second and a half. Oh, sorry, no, not a second and a half. 1.1 seconds, to my knowledge. It says cast time, 1.2 seconds. There you go. It's not 1.2 seconds. Look, 1, 2, 2 seconds, mate. 1.2, destroy the campfire. Swap that with that because it's easier to have it on a. And we just have to move slightly further away for that. Gives us enough time to do all that. And it does absorb a lot of the damage, which is incredible. Pop him. Suddenly we fly over him. Ah, oh, he's an 81%. I can't believe it. doing anything, Quincy, my man. Oh, he's gone. Here comes a triple dash. No? I see, my boy. Sneeze. Here he goes.
There we go, now he's stunned. Now we can just blood rage and wail on him. Oh, it didn't let me do it again. Oh well. Add him into that. Oop. Not there, doofus. I got that. The hell. Over there. Let's go for, go white wild. Got some damage that one. And goodbye, sir. Go ahead. It's what I would do. What? <laughs> what are you saying? Why is this shield fading? Go ahead. It's what I would do. Is it now, my my guy? Well, there he goes. And that's Quincy for you. Now, what we should probably do is go back, make ourselves a beefy storage box, dump everything in it that we need to. And then we need to go and get some iron. That's the next step. While we're up this way, I think I'll quickly just go and poke my head towards the the gate. Oh yeah, also he unlocks an ultimate. Sorry, I didn't say anything about it because uh, it's a dash. It's not even his triple dash. It's just a dash. Nothing else. It's a big pity. Oh well. The first ultimate, realistically, that you're going to unlock, so. <laughs> so easy. Out the way of it. So funny. But yeah, I think we've accomplished a decent amount already. Oh, there you go. And we've already done what we need to, so that is teleportable. Teleportable? teleporting gable Definitely one of those. And, uh, yeah. That one goes faster and easier to track. They don't spin around nearly as much. They take forever to throw that. There'll be a Tristan lurking around here at some point, which is not unusual. Yep, yep, yow. To be fair, I do find that when you're not looking for things, you do end up finding them. But when you're looking for them, you genuinely cannot find them if you tried super, super hard. I find that with bosses in this game as well. You can try with all your might, but... You know, what will end up happening is what ends up happening. But yes, back to base once more. And now we have the smithy, so there is the opportunity to start getting ready for some iron. And we got that way gate ready. Although, to be fair, I realise that we've actually skipped someone. We've skipped a certain Fey Walker. So, it would probably be within our best interests to do that first. We do have the big box, so let us grab. Uh, chuck that in there. We need this. Got the big lock box now. You can actually open it from any angle, so it doesn't matter too much. Immediately we can take that back out because we don't need it. Leather we can take with us. We don't need that. More than that to hold either. Take that. Store that. Easy peasy. Chuck 
some more of these over here. Grab that in there because we don't need it. We don't have any more fish bones. And we definitely want to make one of the grinders. Copper, bone, copper whetstone, and planks. We're going to need some more whetstone at this rate. Never mind that, we're going to need some more... Like, trees. That's the word. Oh, that's fine. It's to be expected to end up with loads more things for the sawmill. I think when I thought about playing this game with people, the thing that was kind of interesting to me was the idea of... Uh, I don't know, really. It's just, just being like the sawmill guy, being the lumberjack of the team. Just always fascinated me. There we go. We'll go and turn these bones into grave dust because we're more likely to need that. We will also need more stone bricks. I'm not sure. No, we don't have any more. That's not a surprise to me. There you go. That's all of that dealt with. We need to. Take half of those out and also put more in for the bones. There you go. Off we go to go and get Polara. Or Polara, Polara. Some sort of like disease sounding name for some reason. Even though it's quite a nice name. Polara. Polara. <laughs> Very fascinating name. We have to hide in the shadows because it doesn't reset your sun unless you sit in the shadows for a little longer. I like the smell of garlic in the game. I don't think we have another teleport up there. No, so I guess we're going to have to go the long way again. But at least it's night time, which is excellent. And we're going to be going over to Polara now. Deal with her next on the list and then it's iron to get the upgraded tools <laughs> they always aim in such a peculiar way that one nearly got me but not quite because yes when you're in wolf form you do move much faster but uh, you take damage and the effect ends and then you have to go through that whole animation again of wolf form this like Three second transformation. I'm like a wolf. Like a vampire wolf. Why not, eh? And also I uh, currently am drinking lemon ginger manuka honey flavoured tea. Quite a spice. A little kick to it. If anyone else likes drinking tea, let me know what, uh, what flavours you like. For anyone who's a avid coffee drinker for that matter let me know how you sort of take it cause I understand and establish that there are coffee flavours it's excellent right over to Polara with our limited blood supply pool something like that but we've got rats as a backup if we need them she's usually over just in a corner there she is she's not very big Okay. Okie dokie. Got you again. It doesn't do very much damage either. Oh, and you just went invisible. Ooh. There we go, that's the spirit gone. She's also not impossible to avoid everything with, which is kind of nice. You hit the deer, you muppet. Now I can 
use that to dodge. I wonder if this can one-shot one of those. Oh, not even close. Wow. Oh, but at least it's dead now. Oh, you're over there. Boop. Nearly finished. Gone. Finished. Done. Bish bash bosh. It is your turn, yeah. Zoe. But, that does unlock us. The ability to transport from exactly our location, which is wonderful. Some copper ingots, some planks, some gem dust, and some blood essence. It's fan dabby dozy, to be honest. It's too low level. No, it's not. Wow. Use a bone sword on fire blossoms, then. That's quite useful. Lovely. Off we go. I thought I heard something. Then. There you go. So it's just the two creatures at the moment. And then we've got... Of course, we've got Nicholas as well. Nicholas? Nikolai? Yeah, Nicholas. Now, at this point, I would say it's still probably worthwhile to get the Reaper for the weapon to fight him. But we should also be quite well stocked. So from now on, I'm going to start making at least two weapons that do different things. So whether it's the axe or the sword or what have you. The point is, as long as it's two different weapons. Just because... One choice of weapon is nice, however, I end up just using that weapon and it's good to branch out a little bit. The axes have been nice to use. But I'm thinking now, let's switch up to the sword. Give the sword a bit of practice. He only has one ability that's particularly useful on the boss. And I know Octavia has like a big sword, so he sort of relies on that. And it does the same sort of things that the regular sword does. It's a spinning attack and then it has like a overhead attack that it throws he throws at you and it knocks you in the air and knocks you towards him quite interesting to be honest already level 34 we're doing all right we will obviously be stepping up our game when it comes to fighting the bosses and i think once we've finished with nikolai Actually, no. I think we might give the bear another go. If we can get the bear killed. Not that bear. That bear's a bit rubbish. In comparison. We are four levels ahead of it. And then we'll also be using... Because I realised that he gives you the chaos barrier. Which is very useful. We also probably want a smaller cast time. And if we do get hit, we could always use the Spectral Wolf, because then it means we take less damage. It's always... Always great. Yeah, I've got as much of that upgraded as I physically can. Compulsive count all of this. Chuck more leather in there. We've got another one of these hearts to chuck in here, which is cool. And we've got 18 sulfur spare at the moment. Oh yes, and we want a way gate so that we can teleport straight back to our base. That was where we need more copper. Planks. Which we got almost enough of. A copper. Go quickly get enough planks. But yeah, I don't have the uh, the blood rage anymore. That's fine. Doesn't make a massive difference. It's a bit of attack speed, not loads. You're a 
0.8 second. Oh, okay, it's not even that long. Oh, strong. We're one off and we need more blood essence and we've definitely got blood essence, that's not a problem. Gem dust. We take one of those. Should only it should be enough. That's oh, only four. Okay. Do it like that. That'll do. Then we also need a devourer to make that happen. Why talking about this? Ten gem dust right there. Um, silly sausage. That's so silly. <laughs> Why? It was right there. Excellent. Right, then we can put a nice big way gate. Don't have any more stone. Ah. Taking too long. No, we don't. So instead, what we will do, we will just that back there. Move that over here. go in here for now. We will expand our base soon enough. Oh, and also probably get rid of the other things from our inventory just so that we can have a nice stack of iron. There's another great blood essence. Awesome. Let's start going up. Oh, never mind. I said I was going to try and fight the bear again, didn't I? Let's go and try and fight the bear. Well, that's very convenient, isn't it? I don't know where this other guy came from, but... Very, very lovely of you to just pop out of nowhere. Just at the, t at the teleport gate, which is kind of funny. Uh, you're only a 2% as well, increased physical power. I do kind of like the idea of the warrior blood because it probably makes melee weapons just a tiny bit stronger. However, again, ranged weapons, and I don't mean the crossbows in this game, I mean the actual spells. The spells are what make it. Let's try again, shall we? We can only do our best worst. We shall see. Or die trying. We do have two more important parts though. We have the chaos dash which makes it even easier to dodge. We now have a barrier that should help us survive just a tad. I just squish some bugs. Oh, I didn't realise you could. <laughs> That's funny. Can we... I just dropped everything off, didn't I? We meet again, bear. Oh, it's level 36, my my. That makes sense then. Well, we are certainly doing better. Let's give him a charge. to absorb those is so nice. Oh, we are doing much better, to be fair. That's gonna hurt. Oh, down 
to the wire. Oh my goodness. I was so scared. So scared. <laughs> I thought the bear was actually level 30, so. Interesting. 2% warrior blood saved us. Now let's heal up. Jesus Christ. That was insane. Do it. I'm going to take a drink, actually. That was rather aggressive. But having two dashes and a shield and all the difference that made. And that's just that just shows that sometimes you do need better abilities to combat some of the enemies in this game. Which is why when you get to the end to end parts of the game you have more or less all the abilities unlocked for you. But yeah. Not bad. Now we've got the bear done. Oh, we were on alive on about five health by the end of it, but Hey, we did it. We did do it. <laughs> Thank goodness. And I guess now we're going to go and get some iron. And then we'll come back and beat up Nicholas. We're going to try that with a sword, I think. And then once I've got through about half the bosses, I think I'll uh, give that a stop. We do still have a large number of bosses to go deal with, though. I suppose. But anyway, we now have our own little way gate that we can teleport to. We don't have to do quite so much running around. It's very sunny, though. Just chuck that on. Actually, we're going for iron now, aren't we? So, there's not really any reason to be back here. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Then the sun can't hit us. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Off to go grab iron, which we have the merciless tools. Oh, and quartz. It's not the most efficient tool at gathering stuff. But it does the trick. Always does the trick. <laughs> so, when we're gathering iron, we'll do that. We might have to sneak around a couple of bosses that can sometimes interrupt us. Hopefully we'll be able to snag just a bit better quality blood as well, because that starts to matter the later you go on the game. It's nearly the end of the uh, day already. Good, good. More quartz. Wanted iron mine. That's the thing that's right next to us. Excellent. couple of bosses to mention as well up here. We've got Christina, who might be annoying if you're a little underleveled, but otherwise is very fragile boss. Probably one of the squishiest bosses at the higher levels. Jade, who, like Tristan, should be avoided like they're the plague. As per usual. It's funny as well how... There's only three hours in this day I've set it up. There's only three hours of sunlight, yet somehow it, it still rolls around super quick. Maybe that barrier lasts quite a long time. Kind of feels like it. <gasps> Wolfie. And I'm dead. There we go. Good work. Then we can take some 17%. I don't think. Will that give us the next one? No. Didn't think so. That's okay. 
it at least refreshes our blood pool so we don't have to be quite so quick when we're going over here. Get the skeleton. Sneak attack him. What's this? Eight second cooldown. Oh wow, something's already been through here and kind of helped me to deal with a lot of the enemies. Now it's iron ore time. Two seconds. This feels like longer than two seconds. I in any game where seconds count, I am sure that, I don't know, it just, it feels way longer than it is. Don't know what it is, either. I just feel like it. Oh well. We've done quite well so far, I think. some iron, ignoring the two bosses that are in here because for now they're not of relevance. Don't know why I was backing away from that stone then. <laughs> yeah, we just clear up all of this. We get some nice gems out of it. But we're mainly here for the iron ore. I think I will actually put the Blood Rage back on just for a bit so that I can speed this siege up a bit and then miss. Don't do it please, I need this again. Work, more iron. In with a little cheeky Wolfie. Oh, that's one of them. See them over there? That's one of the big bosses. Just let them pass. Because it would take us quite a long time to finish them off. Usually them and the undead captain have a little brawl, which is quite fun. God, your speed. Such great speed. axes. And that still does feel like the wrong sort of weapon to be doing that for. Okay, we're still alright. And it does randomise chucking that out of the, like, wanted mine or whatever you want to call it. We've got four over there. We won't gather absolutely every single iron piece in this mine. Probably just grab these four and then run. Run back to base. And we'll probably have to move away anyway in a second. No, I think we're good. Lovely. dissipate and then we can leave. I'll be cheeky and grab these two. That is us finished in here. Hopefully we can then cook some iron which shouldn't take too long because we changed all the time. It's good. It's very good. this eventually will conclude the second part that we have done so far. And the game will continue to slow down at each point we go. Just because... Oh, where are you going to go? I'm stranded for a second or two. That's okay. 
yeah, because as, as you get later on, not only do the craftings crafting get a little harder, the times go up usually, and also the bosses can be spongy. Very spongy bosses. Just bop him a couple times and then goodbye. Oop. Till the blood rage is gone and then I'm just going to clear off. Right, let's go. We've littered our inventory full of iron, which is perfect. And then back home. Get back home, cook up some of that. Finish off a couple more bosses and then I think that will be up for the second session. We'll be exploring some of the other areas next time, which will be very exciting. I'll start to ramp up, but it also gets very interesting because you get to unlock all the new and interesting abilities as well. It's always fun. But let us go back home. Back home. Iron is 25 seconds. Good thing we've got two furnaces. That should make it much quicker. And we've got a few other bits and bobs. But while we wait for the iron, so that's what we're going to need next. Get more leather ready. Don't need any more. We don't need canteens or anything of the sort. So we won't worry about that. We don't have any more fish yet. We'll find some. Put all that back in so we can get some more stone bricks. Grave dust as well. And then for when we do get the recipe, we'll chuck the quartz in there to make the glass. It's only 25. 0.25... 0.71428. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of microsecunding. That in again. But yes, Nicholas obviously starts to get us the structure, which is cool. A good structure. Beatrice is not too tricky. It's just where she is is quite challenging. Yeah, both those two would be our next targets. As you see, we've still got a large number. Got Solaris, obviously, and to be doing horror and that stuff. We'll get to them eventually. Eventually. Gear level two. Level. Funny seeing that outlines though. And what might be considered gear level two low, you are actually able to potentially beat them up in some cases. Yes, we need 26. Also, did we have enough sulfur left over? Yes, we did. Lovely. We need sulfur essence, which, I mean, once again, not, not a tricky one to get hold of. And then it's just some more iron. I don't know about anyone else, but when they play games, instead of waiting, I really like to just keep picking up like single bits at a time. Don't know what it is, but I guess I guess it just depends on how you like to play. I'll probably go back to using the shield now because uh, that shield is a savior. And then obviously we'll need even more to make the table and such. Even more iron. But yeah, we can obviously get some stone. And I was thinking about making two weapons, although for the sake of fighting Nicholas, I only need to worry about making one. But if I want to go and fight any other bosses, I need to make sure I've got a sword to hand. And then based on whatever is next, so the merciless version of the iron, I'll just use whatever it gives me. 
Not too fussy. How are we doing here? 17. We're already pretty close. Nice to change the resources around. Make them cost less. Especially because then I can grab more things like stone and also wood and then get ready to start actually making a decent castle that I said I would. <laughs> oh, something that's not just like six walls and then out in the open. Lovely work. All that in the grinder and that'll help us out. We're at 21. We need five more. Nice. That's like a countdown now. Right, let's count it. Four. Uh, da, 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 da. Four more. Uh, uh, three. Oh, hello, Alpha Wolf. You'll keep us busy. the wolf attack on the actual wolf. Let's not accidentally teleport, though that would be really funny, but you kept us busy for a bit. You wanted to join in on counting, didn't you? Well, we've got three left. Two. And we're there. It's time to put down the smithy. And then, yes, it's going to definitely be time to actually sort out the blood essence. We need more planks. I I could go and fight him with a sword and then just see what happens, really. While we wait for even more to be done so that we can make a weapon to go fight him with. Let us go and get some rocks. So that we can expand our base even more. Just move some more things out the way. Which is going to be necessary. I don't know how many more borders we can make. Oh, I can make three more. There you go. There you go. Parcel limit reached. Move some of this out of the way. And also move this over here. There we go. Spread it out a little more. Beautiful. I'll upgrade the castle heart in a bit. Seven of the twenty. That's not too terrible. While that goes on. Get that, obviously. Oh, we could get some more planks and then we can make another big storage box so that we've got plenty of space to just dump stuff because I'm not a big organising person. I like to be able to just basically throw things down. Keep it simple for me. We'll make one more big box. Some more planks. With the copper. Obviously it's about to be daytime so we're just going to chuck that on. We're actually going to move it a bit further over this way, just then I've got most coverage. Right, another box, I would say. Copper ingots again. You'd think I'd remember by now. Go. Got a single copper ingot left on that. Chuck all that in there first. There we go. That looks much better. We'll do some reshuffling. We do actually have some planks in here too. 
I think we had enough, didn't we? We do. Oh no, we had enough in there anyway. Right, well, let us go check on the progress of this. Five. Five. Well, that makes 17. Only a few more. We're back down to a count of three. One. Ten seconds for number two. Ten. Two. And... Three. Let's make a sword. We'll go fight him with a sword and see how we get on. Now, theoretically, I don't need any of these... Or either of these weapons now. I'm level 37, so same as him. That should be that dealt with. We've only, we only need one weapon and then the other stuff. We will go and pay him a visit first. He is up there. That's actually going to be easier not to teleport and to walk there. That's okay. We shall go and fight Nicholas. Not walk into trees. Nicholas, you are next on the list. And then maybe we shall go and fight Beatrice as well. And then maybe call that job well done. Just a couple more. And we are nicely snug into the mid game at this point. Surprised we haven't actually found any upgrades for our rings. But, that's okay. Gravedigger ring it is. It, it's been with us on our journey for quite some time now. Completely understand it. It's, it's a very useful addition. Can't understate how precious rings are. My, my, my. Very impressive these are. I'm going to try and ignore a majority of these guys. Because I would rather... Just get close enough to him. Right, now we'll go for them. And that bounces, which is kind of lit. It's always a problem though, with like a ton of skeletons. Well, that's very satisfying though. Quite unfortunate and annoying. Thank you, that'll even the horde out a little bit. Oh, that's lucky that came up. get around the corner just so we don't die to that. Oh, that pushed me out of the way. Oh. Sad face. Oh well. Yeah. That sounds less pirate-like. Oh, it's a little bit of a faff to get over there, but you know what? We don't have vampire form. To be fair, that is actually a good point. Why do the vampires not have bat form by default? I feel like I need filling in on that backstory. And either I missed it, or there's... So there's some sort of explanation in the actual game, or there's no explanation, and they just randomly don't have bat form. I wonder why. How peculiar. Anyway, let us go and kill Nicholas. He does actually spawn quite a few chaps. Maybe for the sake of this one, we'd do better with some uh, AoE spells. Maybe Gorse Wine's thing would be quite useful, and so would the little Chaos Shockwave thing. They both do respectable damage anyway, so if we do hit him with it, it'll do a nice amount of his health. Good. But yeah, bat form. Why, why do they not have it? That's a genuine food for, food for thought, and I'm not sure why. And yes, to act vengeance, because we're now going to be petty. going to make sure I destroy every single thing. Especially you guys, because you guys annoy me. The 
Goodbye. Nice seeing you, though. I guess we'll probably just do it with 0% blood, eh? Provided I had some rats on me, otherwise... I'm sure I can find some, eh? Hiding in the shrubs. Very lovely. I where the rats actually do hide. I'm never going to get bat form out of my head now. And it's so late on that you unlock it in this game as well. It's very puzzling. It's, it's like a... Des it, it's a defining feature. Okay, I get it. You predict my movement. Anyway, goodbye. You can die now. Stupid. That's the that's the start of the enemies that start to get annoying. The start of the start, as it were. And the irritating enemies. That really start to portray the disgusting nature of some of the AI in the game. Oh, hi there. I didn't really have much anyway. Did have some rats on me though, I think it seems. Oh, it's more grave dust. I'll come back for those containers after the boost fight. It's not bad, that's not bad. More grave dust, more rats. Let's see if this actually does anything. Oh, I can at least teleport to him. Hmm. But, that does actually do good damage. That's all of that dead. The sword does respectable damage to him. Not bad. That cast time's a little disgusting. And that only fears, which is cool. a chunk of them. Oh, <laughs> you're in the way. Well, we managed to kill him with a sword, so I guess the sword's not too bad after all. Just have to have some backup of crowd control, otherwise you're going to get overwhelmed by skeletons pretty quickly and you do not want that however now we've unlocked one of the best abilities in the game Sorry, I think I uh, just would like you dead, sir. Oh, I can't teleport to that. Oh, well. Now you're running away from me, which is not what we want. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, that's been successful. 
guess it's time to get towards Beatrice and then uh, we'll have to do a little walk it seems. Oh well. Little walk. Go find Beatrice. Don't die to everything else around Beatrice and then uh, that's a job well done I think. It's perfect. Your bones will be mine. Oh, good old Wesker right there. What he sounds like. Your bones will be mine. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Don't ping the map, sir. Cast time, 0 0.7 seconds. You're joking, aren't you? It's not 0 0.7 seconds. It takes way longer than that. You stand there for like half an hour. Maybe it's just the animation that takes long, but look. It's like, takes way too long. Boom. Explosive. I do kind of wish there was some optimization in terms of like how you traverse can't really like heal on the move unless you pop a salve. You have to completely stop moving to even blood mend. Which I don't know how I feel about that. It's a merciless copper mace. Oh, well that's at this point a bit outdated I'm afraid game. Mist signet is not though. I'm pretty sure that is better than the grave digger ring. It requires that. Greater blood essence would be pretty easy. Yes, I do have enough of those. Perfect Mondo. Yoink. Finally, I'll be taking that. I'm not really sure why the Alpha Wolf ins is insistent. Can you please leave my base alone, sir? It's quite distracting. Thanks for the unsullied heart, though, I guess. Not to mention, we are now level 40 because of that signet. So, just perfect. Now we need to be off to go and get Beatrice. It'll be a little bit of walking to be done, but that's okay. Beatrice is like a little sort of sneak peek into this area along with the iron mine and then anything else after that is just the area. <laughs> but for now, gonna go get the old lady. Suck the blood. And then move on been an excellent journey so far. We are about half of the level until max. So it's it's been brilliant. We've made significant progress in the last couple sessions. It's been great. It does start to ramp up immensely from here though, so you might have some soft spoken rage incoming. <laughs> towards the second half of the game. <laughs> because some of the enemies do get quite frustrating. And not to mention we haven't even killed Tristan yet. Who is still in that area. Oh, that's a bit mean. I suppose at least the sword does kind of give us a stun, which is very nice.
I just want to take one of them, otherwise I'm going to lose out on all the blood. Wow. <laughs> Okie dokie. Just a tad rude, if you ask me. Why is he nearly dead? <laughs> what what happened to you, sir? Why were you, like, one shot? Probably not going to get very far before they uh, put me back in combat for no reason. If you do mind, though. Okay. <laughs> I suppose I could have just left clips, but... That's alright, I'll come back. And suck someone else's blood. But yes, Christina, this is next. After... I say next. Not quite next. Getting sidetracked, it's fine. Getting very sidetracked, actually. Because before her, it's... Mm, I'm not sure. We'll figure that one out, whether it's her or Tristan first. Annoying for their own different ways. But yeah. We have now got one of the best abilities in the whole game, so... We are happy. We are very happy. Our oh, sword's one of the only weapons that can actually let me... That's good. 35, 35, 40 combo. Okay, interesting. Right. That'll do. A bit of movement speed doesn't hurt. We'll go get Beatrice. Finish. Not get distracted. Although, I do quite like the corpse explosion. And I don't usually use it, so I'm very interested. Of course, there is no harm in attempting to kill Christina now if she is on the path, the destruction. But Beatrice is more important. Christina, less so. Ah, <gasps> more loot on the way. Thanks, I guess. And a wall thread, wow. Treat. Thank you. Right, because she's over there. Over here, even, not over there. That's the other one, but she is level 56-ish, something like that. 52 maybe even. And definitely not someone we can fight now. That's where Christina is. Can we get around here? I can't remember, probably not. Nor can we get around there and there's garlic, so. Wolf. Cow, not the same. Come on, destroy the wall. Excuse me, please. I have places to be. And no, I do not care about fighting her. I'm busy. I'm sure garlic won't be particularly fantastic for us. One nice thing about the sword is that it does gather stuff like this pretty quickly. Which is fantastic to limiting garlic exposure in the first place. Right, that'll do us. 17 stacks, not the worst thing in the world. This is pretty gross because you can take an increased damage of 100%. And you can reduce your damage output by 0 0.5, so up to a 50%, which is quite disgusting, if honestly. We've also gone too far, because we need the Dawnbreak Village. Not anything over there, although we do have a way gate up here somewhere, I believe. It's like a wolf has literally just walked past and she's crying. Yeah, 
Yeah, they stun themselves pretty easily, which is quite funny too. Have a couple skeletons though, I'm more than happy for that. I'm going to enjoy this revenge, my friend. Unfortunately, you're going to very much so struggle against me. I don't care what level you are, brutey boy. You're going down. Ha ha ha. Scholar. You weren't even aiming at me. Goodbye, though. Lovely. I'll take up all of that. Bye, lady. Nice seeing you. Oh, Blood Rose Brew is quite nice. Let's just top off our health. It's every little health's. Oh, we definitely want... Oh, was oh, she going to run this way? It'd be incredible if she did. I don't... I don't want him anywhere near us. He is not a friendly chap. Good, okay, good, good. Move the legs. That kind of helps me keep up with her, that's nice. Lovely. Well, that's her gone. No! <laughs> Please no. Oh, I'm sorry. The only passive boss in the whole game. I, I can keep up with you because I got the right weapon for it. Hee hee ho ha ha. There we go. There's Beatrice done. Obviously, she does not give us any powers besides human form. But very useful. Very useful. Right. Not to mention that now we're in that stage of the game. Oh yeah, skeletons, of course. You know what, we'll... Uh... Wrong button, but that's okay. Good enough. Missed her, whatever. That slows them, which is pretty lit. Moves us even further away, which is kind of also lit. Go on, get me over there. And then we can also use the best ability in the whole game. Aww. Oh, it still let me try and teleport, though. damage she took as well. I will show you discipline. Dining blessings. The only problem is when she does that. Dining blessings. Doesn't do it a lot though, which is nice. Oh, I can actually lift her in the air. Okay, blimey. Conviction. Shining blessings. 
Well, that's a good way of countering her then. Did not know you could interrupt her like that. Well, that is a fine how do you do. do that to counter all that, which is nice. This is my nope. Thank you, though. Goodbye. Time must come. As I say, very squishy. She's level 44, and at the beginning, when I'd literally put skeletons on her and hit her with one ability, she'd lost probably an eighth of her health. Which is insane. But anyway... We also got Christina. That's a bargain. Like a bargain bin opportunity. And also, there's a way gate that's come loose for us. Love that. Right, well, we'll go back to the way gate and go home. And then that's us finished. We just pop these guys on the back. Pat, well done. Well done to you both. Good work. Perfectly dismounted. Back to the castle. To resume another day. Bye-bye.